www.freefund.com. Don't fall for the free... Hey, good afternoon. This is me again. And I'm driving back from a funeral of a friend of mine that passed away at age 85. It was sad, very sad. Even though 85 is a good day and good age to die. Especially on this day. Well, what's new around the world is that Putin winning the war in Ukraine. And unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know which one anymore, this news is hidden in the so-called media of the United States of America. A lot of stuff is hidden in the United States of America from the American people because our media is part of our government that lies to people, lies every day. The world is under tremendous tension because of the wrong policy of the American politician, especially Joe Biden. Joe Biden never, ever was right about any foreign policy decision that he ever made. And it has been confirmed by a lot of politicians that has been around him. What Joe Biden does today, basically, is ruining the American economy, weakening the American uh, national security, the army, the navy, all in the name of social justice and stupid climate change. Now, I want to talk about the climate change. This is one of the biggest fraud that ever existed and is created by whom? Climate change is created by people that get together every year at a city by name Davos in Switzerland. Those are the richest people in the world that they all fly there with their private jets. Those are the people that prevent me and you to use the cheapest energy that exists. And we have tons of them here in this country. That's a fossil fuel. Now, the war against the fossil fuel is economic war against all humanity. Just look what happened in the last two years while the gas prices in the United States climbed almost to double. Here in California we are paying, we were paying highest price of fuel and today a lot of gas station the prices are about five or six dollars a gallon. That is actually absolutely gouging American people. The United States of government in the name of a climate change literally gouging his own citizens. The price of uh, food and necessity are climbing to the skyrocket skyrocketing and it's all in the name of climate change. Actually, just a few months ago, somebody from those uh, progressive uh, uh, environmental, uh, whatever you call them, they predicted that uh, that California especially is going to have a very, very dry year and it's going to be definite drought around California. We're going to need water. Yet we have one of the, the 
rainiest season in the last 20 years. So we know that climate change is a BS, but how are we going to get rid of it? How are we going to get rid of it when the United States government lies every day to people about climate? And who are those scientists that they said uh, about, what, uh, 30 years ago when Al Gore came out with uh, global warming and he claimed by year 2000 the ocean going to rise uh, 12 inches or 2 feet and the whole Florida and the New York City going to be under the water. And that never happened. Since then, they had to change from global warming to a climate change. Now, what is climate change? Climate has been changing over years. It's not the first year, it's not the second year that climate has changed. And climate is not in the hand of a human. Climate is the hand of God. And God kept the sun coming right and rise from east and go down and set on west for thousands of years. Did not change. Okay. The weather yes, changed. We had ice season. I remember as a child, as a child, the temperature in Russia and Europe was below zero all along. Very long time, seven years ago, Europe literally was an ice place. It was very hard to live. Huge land of Russia was totally under ice. And winter time was all day, always minus temperatures. Okay, we understand that. But Earth exists thousands of years and had ups and downs. And only whoever ruled this universe in charge of the weather and climate, not human. So all the nonsense about gas and fossil fuel is a human-made uh, hoax. Like the hoax that the Democrats created against Donald J. Trump that tried to save the United States of America from the hand of deep states. We are living in a period that the deep state is ruling the United States of America. Ruling with the tyrant hand like uh, dictatorship of Iran, Venezuela, Russia, and China. We are losing to China. Our education is in the garbage. Our kids are educated to hate the country. So there is a guy like Donald Trump that comes over and tries to do the necessary changes to bring back the glory to America. And here, the last seven years, the Democrats, the communists, the globalists, and those who believe to, to BS of a climate change, trying to topple him, and they dying to see him arrested with the handcuff on his hand. This is the mentality of, it, of the left, not only in America, in everywhere. But the left is defeated everywhere because their policy never works. In Israel today, the baby's government trying to change their justice system because the justice system in Israel, like here, was corrupted the last seven years. The DOJ, basically, is a fascistic model of the justice in Russia and China and Venezuela and 
Islamic country. Barack Hussein Obama, the biggest enemy of the United States of America, promised a 208 election that he will transfer America. And he did. And basically, who's ruling the White House today? It's not Joe Biden that hardly walking and is speaking. It's Barack Hussein Obama, Susan Rice, and all other globalists, and gays, and a lesbian, and transgender. What happened to the United States of America? We are dying. We are uncaffed and we are choked by globalism that are trying to destroy and diminish our freedom, our constitution, our laws, and our system of living and life. I thank you for listening. Let's rise. We need a revolution in this country to get rid of all these leftists and all the stupid laws that they have they created to diminish the United States and change it to a country like Iran. Iran today going through the same revolution. The last year alone, over 300 people were hanged. 300 people that basically denied the dictatorship of the Mullahs. Same thing happening in the United States. FBI created January 6th and there are hundreds or thousands of people sitting in jail without lawyers, without being judged all political prisoners. When a country has political prisoners, meaning the country doesn't exist anymore, because you cannot, you cannot put your political opposition in jail. That's why the left is so going crazy and the media is so frustrated that Donald J. Trump not handcuffed yet and is still free as American as all of us should be free. But we are not free. Over 75 million are voters that voted for Donald J. Trump are shaken to death by a fear that FBI or CIA come and arrest them and put them on jail for no logical reason. I myself am scared to death that maybe you too will not even, I don't know, post what I'm saying, even though I am powerless. But one of the tools of the dictatorship is to shut down the opposition. Whoever says anything, against them, against the rules, against the lawless laws. The United States of America must rise against traitors like Barack Hussein Obama and Joe Biden.